Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bruno Fightmaster, and today we are back with some more of the Pokemon Scarlet Bug Only Run, the Mighty Fighty Shush Bugs. So last time, um, there, there's this Pokemon called Heracross. We meant to caption, and uh, we were, we paid for our hubris. Uh, we thought that we would actually stand a chance, and instead what happened is he decided to take the life of both Shelob and Tyke. Uh, so now they are no longer with us, which is most unfortunate. Uh, we don't have the most left in our reserves here. Um, we do have a chance to catch Heracross still, like we just ran from that fight. Uh, so we can maybe try to still catch him here later. It's going to be going to be a bit rough to do so. Uh, the other thing that we did is we also, I also took a look to figure out, okay, where did I previously go and catch Terraden Pokemon? Since we have a lot of Pokemon in our party that were from Terradens, I wanted to make sure that I tried to limit myself as far as what Terradens we can find. Um... So a lot from South, uh, in particular, well, actually just two from South, South three and South four, uh, four is all the way over here. I'm going to say South five is also out because I captured two in South three because that's much bigger than I thought, but there was a Venonet and, um, Fang and Aria were both in that area. Uh, Phantom, we just caught over in South four. Uh, we had East one here for Sisypha because we caught her right over here. And then on the other side of the world, over here somewhere on the west, uh, west one here, is where we caught uh, Paula, our honorary bug. So, probably what's going to happen is we'll start with Ortega here. Uh, we might do Ortega. We'll probably go ahead and do um, Grusha as well uh, in hopes that we can go ahead and just get those two taken out. I don't think we're going to be quite ready for the False Dragon as of yet. We'll see. Um, I know Aerie is one of the, like, toughest star bases, so we might have to come back to that later. But in any case, we are definitely going to start with taking out Ortega and probably Grusha, and then I think we're going to go and try to find Terradens. Try to get some more in our backlog here. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, so Terraden here for what's his face? Uh, Ortega, right? Yes, Ortega. So it's Fairy Gym, uh, Fairy Gym or Fairy Base, whatever it is. Challenge. We need steel. We need poison. We are a lot lower level than I actually expected, which isn't the greatest. Um. I forgot, does Fang actually have a poison move? Yes, Venishok. Okay. Um, we may do that. What are the things over here? 43, so you're a little higher. Okay. We probably want to try and pick out some more Pokemon, get some levels up, because I think Ortega is closer to the 50 range. But I don't want to bank all on just Sisypha and uh, Sigurd. If you want to just keep using status moves like that and not actually go to hit me, that'd be great. I 
because the fang's eyes look very weird here. I think because the eyes are like exactly on the outside of everything. It's real funky. I didn't quite want to go here. I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lessons. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Mm -hmm. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Yes. Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rukba Squad, led by young Master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington? I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. You know, I think he might be here to try take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of the young master. Sure? Is that so? Well then, that leaves me to with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure. Splendid. Let us begin. I hope I'm not going to be overstepping my bounds here. Who, who do you have, Harrington? What level are we looking at? Okay. 48. That is... That's bad. That's really bad, actually. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's go with Sigurd to be safe. Ooh, that's really bad. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Bang uh, needs a lot more levels before they're ready. Okay. That's... That's fine. Okay. How many Pokemon do you have? Am I going to have enough to just walk through you with uh, Sigurd? Maybe. Let's see. Well, didn't make a flinch, but alright. I can't use the same move. Oh, no, I didn't get to use it. Okay. So probably not quite. But maybe, because I can't use Gyro Ball again. And first I'm going to heal. But then I could use Curse. And raise up all my stats so that way everything else gets harder. I want to be slower. Okay. Now I definitely need to go ahead and heal back up. Uh, 120? Yeah, that's, that's enough. It is annoying since that's a special attack, but... I'm just gonna use Earthquake, actually. I just want you gone. Alright, who are you sending out next? Okay. 
Catra. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch because I'm going to have a free shot, essentially. Um, with Sisypha. As long as I don't get just one shot here, which I probably won't because I think, yeah, I'm near 10 levels ahead, so. Oh, and especially since I can use Bug Buzz. Ooh, keep up, game. Okay. And this is the thing I'm worried about. Like, Sisypha is perfectly fine, but I don't want to bank on Sisypha. Everyone else needs to get leveled up. So. So Sisypha is safe. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta let everyone know. Hasta la vista. Later. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. The base belonged to Team... That base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew, the Rukba Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south very for you quickly. He's also a real lead-from-the-back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else but for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe Rook squad off the map. Uh, eventually. But, uh... I need some other players first. I don't know if you keep using Giga Drain, then we're fine. But yeah, I need to get... If I can get Fang to 50. Really, I need to get everyone to 50. Because we have a very... Most of the members on the team are actually kind of underleveled right now. Especially those two. I don't really want to go back to those two if I don't have to, but... They may be the, uh... They may be the leaders of the backup squad if needed. Because, uh... Boy, howdy. We're probably going to need a squad to do it. Also, they both only have one life, too, so... Eh... Not a lot we can do about that. Actually, I might do... Yeah. I think we're going to go after some chances. Oh, there you go. You just run away from me. Good. Yeah, this should be a... Uh good one to use because Chansey is just a walking pile of experience. If I can actually get through your nonsense health bar. Now, let's put Mantis up and let's fight you. Maybe working at the Poké Center here would be more fun than my current job. I don't know. I mean, maybe. You bring a lot of people happiness because it's, you know, it's all free healthcare. Okay. Metacham should be okay. Here. Fighting type. And you're 45, so. Okay. Good. 
That was a good decision. Let's grab this. You are a Leafeon, I think. No, you're a Sylveon. Not much better. The power of music, huh? Sure, let's see if we can do something with the power of music. It can bring joy to the world with the right music. Now with Wigglytuck, you're not really singing a tune I like, though. Yeah, switch to this. Sparks fly in this heated battle of two Pokemon who are really tanky and have no attack. So. Okay, 50. That's still not great, but I'm faster. Good. And a flinch. Nice. Grumpig. Uh, actually, no, you'll be okay. Grumpig's all psychic type and whatnot. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay, well. I hope you're faster, Phantom. Good. Right. Well, um, okay. Well, I guess we don't need to wait for Fang to get up to, uh, 50 now. Since now Fang is, uh, just gone. Boy, that's a shame. There we go. Good. Good. We need you to have the better bug move. I'm tempted to not put in a six member yet. Because I don't really... I might as well, though, actually. Like, yes, it would be spelling death if I actually put them into battle. Uh, Leaf Storm. Okay, I don't think we have anyone who's grass. Oh, we do have someone who's grass. We have, uh, we have Paula. Right? Yeah, you're grass fighting. Mmm. This hurts. Okay. Anyway. Um. Move you all down here. On the other hand, there's a lot of experience to be gained from this. So. Oh. Okay, well I guess we have to fight a have to fly the float out real quick. Please leave. 
Oh lordy. Get me out of this deadly field of flowers. Flodat, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Leave me alone. Good. Do I have anything to give any of my power points back? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right. Let's go time. Hey, kid, you shouldn't be here, and now it's time to defend the boss. Defeat 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes, yada, yada, yada. I know. It's the same everywhere. Well, let's see how this one will go. seems to be doing fine, so I think we'll be okay, which is good. I know there are some slightly more terrifying Pokemon in here, so I am kind of worried. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna send both out here. Everyone still seems to be doing okay though, so that's good. I checked. Okay. Let's heal up real quick. Time for Ortega. Oh, be very goodness. So much pink. That smug smile of yours. They'll start with that damn smile. Huh. So you're the Bruno. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up? Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. I'm aware. But hopefully, we're not going to have to worry about that. Forgot Paula needs to come to the lineup. Okay, Water Fairy I'm not too concerned about, so... I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Okay, you are 50. That's kind of concerning. Okay, let's set up. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of something stupid like that. That's fine. If I can set up all the way, 
Um, defense. Because my thought here is if I can manage to... Because this is now two up on both regular and special defense. Oopsie. Did you just realize how outmatched you are? You want to give up. Now's the time. You hit me once, my guy. Once. And now I think if I curse... A couple times... Because honestly, I think the way that this fight is going to go is I'm just going to have my defense be so high that I can't be hurt. Because Sigurd is such a high defense Pokemon right now. So I think my attack's back to normal. My defense is plus four. So that's 200%. And for good measure, let's boost my attack. And then hopefully with this... Okay, let's get out of a zoom roll here and see if I can sweep. We'll see if I can sweep. Okay, not with that. Just check. I'm not minus attack, am I? No. There's minus speed, which is fine. I want to be minus speed. Uh, because then Gyro Ball is actually going to do hopefully a lot more damage to someone who is fairy. I think I'm healing more from leftovers than you are actually doing damage to me. Okay. Last one. Okay. Now, let's actually see if I can sweep. How much defense I have? I'm hoping the answer is yes. Get rid of Dashbund. Hello, dog. Are you lowering my attack again? Stop it. Everything lowers my attack. Fine. I'll use another one. Use every item under the sun in this one just to make sure that we. Can I just, like, keep my attack? I'm at neutral. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Can I go up against a Pokemon that can't lower my stats? No. Because Wigglytuff is also going to have Charm. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. How many more gyro balls do I have? Three. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think it should be okay. Would you quit that? Maybe we'll be okay. Okay. Fine. Still good. 
What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair! Okay. Okay, I think we're alright. An earthquake here for a time or two. Boy, I do no damage right now. This is gonna be a long fight. Until I go ahead and use even more resources. But I'm at least normal. That's yeah, fine. Whatever. Okay. Well, we know that we have this one in the bag. So thankfully, Ortega is done. That could be bad. But Sigurd's also very good at hitting through that, it seems, so we're okay. Can I actually get positive attack? Yes, I can. Fine of my speed falls because gyro ball is specifically for speed. Okay. Team Star down. Uh, how can I lose? What the heck? Not too many disco balls happening. About a year and a half ago. Ah, uh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. I was up all night building it. <laughs> the problem clearly is we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Charcadet, but it's just too heavy. If that's such a shame, I, I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? <sighs> if I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd just have asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool, cool it, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to sw we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That, that's easy for you to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm going to train up my Charcadet and have them evolve. Their boost firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? <laughs> oh, I'll get it done. Uh, Melly, wait! 
You know, Mela shoots her mouth out an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. God, fine. It's not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Yeah, about that. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel how awesome it is. That does look gleams, okay. Not my favorite, but... And just so you know, you are the worst. Like, most annoying person ever. <sighs> I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. A young Master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington. Uh, I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss's title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's someone I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? <laughs> what a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did have an have ooh. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? School's all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. But why? What happened to them? As the former director of academy, I believe I have the I'm getting my voices mashed up here. As the former director of the academy, I believe I'm in the best I'm the best position to answer that question. Uh, Mr. Harrington, about 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. And though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad and that was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region, under the pretext of overseas studies. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible! after we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you some great deal of trouble, you have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. 
Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Because everyone has to have treasure in this world. Four down. Bruno, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then? I see. With its boss no longer around, the Rukba squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Bruno. And Clive's has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Eh, not, not really. I mean, what, a few days? Maybe a week ago? Well, no, because it's been a while since the... Since I actually went to school, but eh. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scarled spit, scared spitless of Team Scarled? Why did I think that? Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school, one after another. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. more TMs. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Thanks, Cass. Uh, here I am. Toothless! <laughs> Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention while everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one of the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. Yeah? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Can your reward be, like, giving me your hairstyle? The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Bruno. Thanks. Alright. That went over well, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised with how... I guess easy that one was. Okay. We have another gym to take on. It's a nice gym. Uh, actually, let's stop by the TM machine real quick. Okay. So... Since we're thinking about it, and we're here. Let's 
Let's go see what's at this bug den. Maybe we'll be lucky. And it'll be a hair across that we can actually use. No, we're not going to get lucky. And I can't take a one star. Not with where we're at. That's too much of a... Uh... That's too much going back. If we do fight Nimona, we'll try it. We'll see what level we're looking at and we can... We have a little bit of room. Okay. A Bruno! It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you've got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Oh, we'll do you after. Okay. In that case. Put you back up there. Uh, because you're going to be... Yeah, Steel should be able to take care of Ice, so... Cool. Anyway. Yay, Glacado Gym, the last one. Let me register you, Challenger. Blah, 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 blah. Here at the Glacado Gym, that means doing the snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start the test, you'll just head out of the gym and go up on the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details there. Now get out there and have fun! Okay. It's time for a... Uh... Oh, what's his name, is it? Oh, I can't remember his name. Who's the pro snowboarder? I can't remember to save my life. That's fine. I will just go ahead and put his his name. Uh, actually, let me. Yeah. I think it's like Sean Anderson or something like that. Doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I will go ahead and put his put his picture on screen now with his name, so you can see who it is. Anyway, the snow slope run. Hi there. I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course, like a slippery, slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time, and you've passed the test. So, ready to attempt the gym test? Yes. Let's get this started. Enjoy the Winter Wonderland on your way down. I'm trying to figure out how you can lose this one. Because it's not, like, not the hardest in the world to do this. But I can imagine that... They want to set it up so you can fail. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those, like, you get penalties to your time if you don't do the slalom here. I forget. Doesn't matter. Let's take a nice, quick, slidey trip. Let's see what happens about this one. Yeah, plus five seconds. Okay, that's fine. We're going for fast. I don't particularly care about... Yeah, it's not... Okay. So we still had plenty of room. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a gimme. Congratulations, that was the best sliding I've ever seen. No, I don't know about that. Yeah, I want to slide off. Thank you. Okay. I wonder if it's going to be I have to face her after this. That could be it. 
No. Anyway. Sigurd once again. This is gonna clean up. Great show on the slopes, Bruno. You finished the snow slope run no problem, and you know what that means, you've cleared the gym test. You've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Do you want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Crusher? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I want to finally take care of all of the gyms. So people can stop yelling at me to fight the gyms. You're just happy to be alive, aren't you, Katoodle? There you are. Oh, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger? My name's Gresha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. Saw you on the slopes. Your skills, yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. Sure you want to battle me? Yep. <sighs> Still trying to act cool, huh? It's too bad. Well, it's my job now. So don't take what I'm about to do personally. Never do. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Oh, Frost Moth, another one that I wish I could have had. But alas. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Don't worry. I won't. Let's do a little bit of setup. Okay. Special defense was the right move. Alright, we'll do special do attack oh good and just to be safe let's go ahead and do curse too Attacks up three, defense is up one, special defense is up two, and our speed is down. So hopefully, this means that Gyro Ball is going to do enough extra that we can just do four up, four down. Let's find out. One... Yeah, brick break is fun. Like brick break. Be for headbutt. Is it BR tick or bear tick? Probably bear tick. Power to gas. Two. Now 
I didn't even see who it was, but... Oh, it's the Titan. Oh, it's the big soccer ball. That was a choice. Three. All right, everyone. Get out your jams. Ooh, Altera. <sighs> you're not just talk, I see. But you're still one false step from a steep fall. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Yep, that's fine. Turn all Terra into ice. That actually is probably bad for you, to be completely honest. Okay. Cool. Oh, and you miss. Four. As I said, four up, four down. Sorry, we're not going to jam out too long. Thank you, Sigurd. It is your day today. Huh. You melted straight through my eyes. That burning passion you have. You strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. <laughs> oh, never mind. I should just give you your gym badge. Huh? You want a photo together to commemorate your win? Uh, come on, that's... That's so uncool. I usually don't do this sort of thing, but... Uh, okay, fine. Special occasion. Oh, how cute. It's a little heart with a Pokeball in the middle. With eight gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll also listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Nice. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again, if you don't mind the cold that is. Bye, Katoodle! Bruno! Fortress! You did it! Oh, I'm so happy for you! This is the best! I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time! Most impressive, Bruno. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That's where you'll take on the champion assessment. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I've got to take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's moves and revamp all my tactics. <laughs> well, good luck, Bruno, and wish me luck, too. Hmm. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached when competing with a good rival. <laughs> Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League, northwest of Mezagoza. Thanks, La Primera. Okay, so we at least got those two. Don't 
exactly have anything for dragons. I mean, I kind of do. Like, I could give Sigurd Ice Spinner. That's not exactly what I want. Hmm. And unfortunately, uh, our buggy boy isn't quite high enough yet. A lot of people aren't quite high enough yet. Anyway, so, especially now with the loss of Fang. No, I'm going the wrong way. Go over here. Let's see about... Oh, the Lord. Come on, keep it together, Toothless. Let's see about getting some more members of the team. We gotta fill out those ranks, because uh, with only seven, it's gonna be kind of rough. Yeah, what kind of Pokemon do you have? There's no shortage of strong trainers. Yeah, I, I know there's not. But are you a strong trainer? Let's see. Eh, not the best, because you're a more special attacker, I think. Oh, 37, huh? Hmm. Shame. Well, actually, with 37, I could probably pull out Paula, come to think of it. I don't know if you're a strong trainer, necessarily. Hmm. Den the first. What do we have? No. Don't think we need more poison. Um... Yeah, why not? We'll go here. I know, really, we should be finding, like, bug dens. But I am going to hold out hope that I might be able to... Uh... Snag a Heracross. With a... Extra type. Not saying that bug fighting is bad by any means. I think it's very good typing. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, no. And this is also why I don't want to do one stars, because now, since we have all the gym badges, we have better Terra Dens, frankly. I haven't fought you. So yes, we want to get the higher level Terra Dents, so that way it's, one, not going to take us quite as long to train up from. But also, slightly more importantly, they're going to be better Pokemon. Let's see if we can do some good with Paula. Ah, yeah, Dark type? Yeah. That'll do. I'm sorry. Can I get an Can I get a quick instant replay on how your hands work there, Paula? Here, put them put them to sleep. I want to make sure we we're not going to get interrupted while I'm looking at your Complete and utter nonsense. You have a stretchy arm. I never knew you had stretchy arms.
A ground diglet. That's useful. Not the standard or anything. I'm going to switch to Phantom for you, because I don't know what you'll have. You don't want to join Team Star. Also, tough, because I just disbanded them. How dare you? How utterly dare you, sir? Though I do see that you're a man of culture for also having a uh, uh, electric. Yes, we need to switch. Uh, uh, yeah, that should be fine, I think. Uh, I see you're a man of culture as well, also going into bugs. Not electric, but... Just need to come over here, take a look at this again, and see if we can get lucky. We won't. No. The Dragon Lilligan, though, that's not bad. Anyway. Okay. Um, so we need to go... What level are you guys? 47. Okay. Let's get down here. Try this Terradon. What's here? No. Rock Hound is not great. Um, okay. Mass Outbreak of Fortress. Nice. Okay. Let's see if there are any more actual bug dens. Check that one. That's not there. North 1. I don't think I'm allowed to get someone from here. Oh, I've got nothing in North. Then yes, North 1. Get near the place that we probably are going to be training at for a while here pretty soon. Uh, two trainers. Need six. Okay. Hey, give me that. Okay. Where's the den? Up and around. Okay. Excuse me, folks. Need some more bones just randomly out in the world. Don't worry about where I'm getting them. All right, what do we got? An NDD. No, we don't really need that one. I can still be kind of picky. No bug, no bug, no bug. No bug. Here's a bug. I can't get it in Area 3. Doesn't look like there's any other bug dens. Okay. I think... Yeah, let's do... Aria. I think... That we might be okay. Now that we have one higher levels, but two more importantly, the gym badges that all allow us to do this. I'm going to see if we can't find public enemy number one. Go away, all of you. None of you are who I want. I know he's in here. 
is I think one of the only places that he is. Keep going up because I don't want to trigger yet another event. That's all I want here. I just want to find public enemy. I want to capture him and throw him in a ball. And then, frankly, use him to do my bidding. There he is. There's public enemy number one. Four star dragon Persian. That'd be nice if I could manage it. Can I get close enough to you? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Similar levels. Caught you off guard. Oh, exact same level. Caught you off guard. Beautiful. Arya, you are doing the Lord's work. Public enemy captured. Okay. Well, that's good. Heracross, the single horn Pokemon. It loves sweet nectar. To keep all the nectar to itself, it hurls rivals away with its prized horn. Yeah, we will give Heracross a nickname. Alright, Jason. All right, and now it's time for us to, haha, -ha, bug out. Uh, where are we gonna go? I think we need to go over here, honestly. I don't want to, but probably need to. 40s though, actually, we, let's go over here. I'm gonna go back here and go on a great cave adventure, probably. And thankfully, this also means that I don't have to uh, use a lot of items to get everyone completely up to speed. No, I don't want the... I mean, I do want the Fire Squirrel, but I don't want the Fire Squirrel right now. Okay. So now... I guess, yeah, now we're back to training time. Because we need to get Paula some levels. Because, yeah, Heracross has the levels we need. Jason, sorry. Jason has the levels we need. But doesn't have any of the stats. So. He's going to be behind. As far as. going after people. Like, if I had a Heracross that I just caught, and then I had a Heracross that I've been using since the beginning of the game, they can be the same level, but they're gonna have different stats. Yes, like, numbers alone, but everything else in a vacuum. Because I'm gonna have all the EVs from the Heracross that I've used this entire time, it's gonna be more powerful than one I just catch out in the wild, even if they are at the same level. Um, what do I want to do here? I actually don't think I really want to train right now. I think we are actually probably in a great spot to call it for the day. We have two more 
big items left. We have the League. And then we have Endgame, really. Which I suppose technically we'd be able to get um another bug there but it is going to be weird to actually get a bug there because of what level all those bugs are going to be at and also it's the last stop before end game I wonder, actually. I'm going to go back to Mezagoza real quick. Nice, safe Mezagoza, wherever it went. Uh, there it is. We're not going to go after the leak yet. No, no, no. We want to take care of everything else first, because I want to get everyone to at least, at least, like, mid-60. 65 would be preferable before going to the actual, like, final section here. But what I want to do is uh, I need to go this way. This is to the actual center of town. Because I want to see yes, Chansey Medicine. So 10,000. So I could get 52 of these. I believe these raise everyone's stat, like the Pokemon stats by like one, essentially, or one EV, if I'm right. Um, let's find out. What does this actually do? Increases the attack. That's great. Actually, Increase the effort value for a Pokemon's attack stat by 10 EV until the Pokemon hits 100. That might be different now based on the version that we're in. As a sword and shield, it can be used to max out a stat. Okay, so that's probably more than that. But if we get, like, I have to do some math to figure out how best to do it, but I think I might just be able to. We could keep going. I might be able to just buy the stats for Jason. That seems like it's kind of cheating, but, you know, we're using what we have. Here, take, take the large one. I'll let you get some levels up. Uh, seed bomb. Sure. That's a physical one. Um. Yeah, we'll get rid of force palm, I think. Okay. But, yeah. I think we'll figure that out. Uh, but that will be next time. Uh, where I think we might actually go ahead and try to return to... Frankly, um, getting all of our, getting some more bugs. We'll see if we have the option to get some more bugs. See if we can get some like four star raids or something slightly higher to maybe fill out our reserves a little bit. Because yeah, we don't have any other bugs that we can get normally. Because I've lost my chance to get all the ones. But that's fine. Alrighty then. So. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for watching if you're watching live. If you're not watching live and watching on YouTube, hello YouTube. I hope you'll hit the like and subscribe button. That does apparently help in the algorithm uh, to get things noticed, which would be great. If I could do this more often, I would love to right now. Just not really in the cards, but here we are. In any case, we'll be back next time. Hopefully we'll be able to continue with the Mighty Fighty Shush Bugs and do some good work. Uh, we're, we're closing in. We are closing in. We have two more 
big things left. We have one more Titan, one more Starbase. We have the final chapter of each of these three missions that we have, and then we have the end game. Maybe we'll get to meet the Professor. We'll see. Until next time, friends.